Jacob Unisport Web TV behind the boots with less loud music and fancy editing and more nerdy details and tech talk. And today I'm taking a closer look at this guy, the Nike Chambo Legend 5 that I just reviewed. And if you haven't seen my review already, you should really go and check that out by clicking the annotation right down here. But let's get to it and take a closer look at the Legend 5 behind the boots. Let's go. So, as I mentioned in my review of the Jimbo Legend 5, there's been quite a few changes to the upper. And one of them is the HyperShield technology. That's basically a technology made to reduce the water uptake of the football boot. Because basically the Legend 5 is a kangaroo leather football boot. And when a kangaroo leather upper gets wet, it also gets heavy and feels maybe a little bit clumsy. And this is what Nike wanted to avoid. Because people have been annoyed, myself included, about playing in heavy, clumsy football boots and thus may have avoided leather boots in the rain. But the HyperShield technology actually eradicates this problem simply because it allows the Legend 5 to absorb 73% less water than a Legend 4. And the water that actually gets into the boot will dry 20% faster than on a Legend 4. And basically that me this means that even though you play in the rain and the Legend 5 actually gets wet, you really get a much more consistent weight in the boot because not a lot of water will get in it. You can simply see the water is being repelled by the upper, both thanks to the HyperShield but also the ACC. So pretty much it lives up to the title, the lightest touch, pretty much at least. This is a pretty cool technology. Yeah. And basically, the cool thing about HyperShield is that it works even when it's raining a lot and the boot stays light. So, looking a bit more into the sole plate on the Nike Chimbo Legend 5, it also comes with an AG sole plate which is pretty popular as artificial grass pitches are spreading all over the world. And if we look a bit more at the AG sole plate, it's the same one that we see on the Nike Hyperbit and Phantom in the AG version. And that is pretty lucky because in my opinion, this is the best AG plate out there. Because it consists of all these small, round and hollow studs that give you just the right amounts of grip. And by the right amount of grip, I mean that you still get enough grip to not fall over, but you don't get that overly excessive grip so that you put too much stress on your joints and your knees, which incidentally can lead to injuries. And that's not what you want. But basically what this AG sole plate gives you is just the right amount of grip while also giving you a good pressure distribution thanks to the torsion bars. And it is a right pleasure to play with because you simply feel like it matches the surface and you don't stick too much in the ground. Now, another thing I have to say about the AG sole plate, if we compare it to the FG sole plate, is the fit of the two boots. I know, it sounds a bit weird, but as I mentioned in my review, the toe box on the FG version is pretty low, so I would encourage you to go up half a size. The thing is that on the AG version, the toe box is a bit more roomy, so I actually stayed true to size which is also what I would recommend you do. So go up half a size with FG, but stay true to size with AG, even though it sounds a bit weird. Now, another thing that separates the AG version of the Legend 5 from the FG version is this little sandpaper-like strip on the very tip of the boot. And basically it's there to protect the AG version from the added abrasion that you get playing on an artificial pitch because it is a bit more rough on your boots than a natural grass pitch is. And thus the AG version is a bit better protected from breaking when you play on an AG surface like this. Which is also why you should use an AG version when you play on artificial grass. It actually works really well. So, as I mentioned in my review, the Legend 5 is a pretty great boot striking the ball with. And I said that it is a pretty no-nonsense boot, simply because you have no striking elements to help you get more curve or power, etc, etc. 
But what I noted was that thanks to the rather stiff and stable midfoot, that you can't really bend and move a lot, you get a rather powerful sensation when you strike the ball. Don't get me wrong, this is not a power boot by no means, and you don't get added power necessarily by putting on a pair of Legend 5s. But it does feel more solid than the boot actually is because it only weighs 245 grams. So it does feel, feel like it has a bit more oomph to it thanks to the rather stiff midfoot. And it is something I rather enjoy. Now, another thing worth noting on the Legend 5 is of course the ACC, which is there to get you the most consistent touch no matter the conditions. And when we combine this with the HyperShield technology, you can really see that the water just repels off the upper and it basically just doesn't, doesn't get the upper wet. It's just there, falls off. So you get a really consistent touch on the ball no matter what condition you play in. And it might help some of you out there. I think it's a nice little touch and it works. So more HyperShield slash ACC, please. So, the Nike Jumbo Legend 5. What do we think? Well, apart from just looking classy, I think it looks really classy. There's actually more to this boot than meets the eye. And I think that the combination of a soft leather upper with the modern technologies under the hood is really, really great. And for me, this is the perfect all-round boot, simply because I cannot fault anything about the boot. I, I really can't say anything bad about it. It just works, it feels good, and it does what it's supposed to. But what do you guys think about the Legend 5? Well, please let me know in the comment section below. Because this was all I had for you for today. If you haven't seen the full review yet, go and check that out by clicking the annotation right down here. And that's all I had for you for today. But I'll see you later on here in Unisport Web TV. I'm signing off. Cheerio. Now another thing worth noting on the Legend 5 is, of course, of course, thing worth noting on the AC's <sighs> Legend 5 is, of course, <laughs>